Adeyanju did react after Hush Puppy allegedly laundered over $400,000 while in U.S. police custody. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. A well-known Nigerian activist, Adeyanju Deji, has reacted to his official Facebook page to react after Hush Puppy allegedly committed fraud and laundered more than $500,000 while in the police custody. It was reported that new accusations have been filed against the arrested socialite Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Hush Puppy, claiming that he committed fraud and laundered more than $400,000 while in the U.S. police custody. Reacting to this information, the former head of news media for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Adeyanju Deji, made it known that once a criminal, always a criminal, adding that if there was ever doubt about Hush Puppy fraudulent acts, this confirmation right from inside the U.S. prison walls debunks all assumptions. Further speaking, Adeyanju Deji recalled how Hush Puppy insulted him in several videos when he called him out years ago, adding that FBI should add a new charge to his case. Furthermore, Ade and Joe Deji urged the EFCC to go harder after all the internet thrusters who are destroying the image of that country. Deji Ade and Joe Post reads, News the renowned first star Hush Puppy reportedly stole over $400,000 from inside the U.S. prison does not surprise me. Once a criminal, always a criminal. If there was ever doubt that his fraudulent act about his fraudulent act, this confirmation right from inside the prison was the bong's all assumption. I recall how he insulted me in several videos when I called him out a few years ago. The FBI should add a new charge to his case. EFCC must go harder after all the whole boys destroying the image of Nigeria. They are really, really worse. This is sad and unfortunate and I would like to use this opportunity to urge the EFCC to go after all internet thrusters in the country and ensure that they are brought to justice. What is your view on this? Hmm. Well, on top of this matter, I don't really know what to say. How is it even possible? How is it possible? How, how, how is somebody who is actually facing a crime? I don't want to believe this is true. No matter how it is flying around the media. Social media have caught fire and some people are like, ah, ah. Now, wow. You know? No, no, no. I don't, I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe it is true at all. I don't believe it one bit at all. I don't. How was somebody who is actually being tried for a case and he knows that U.S., the U.S., United States, these people, they know not like Nigerians before. They're going to make sure that your life is a living hell. And then... You still do that. I'm refusing to believe. Bad guy, you too much, puppy. Even inside prison, you stood the fire. Still, he was caught. He's mogu. You, you think only the only way to make money is by fraud. <laughs> Sabi, now always Sabi, puppy. You too much. This guy, no work, die. I heal. He was still caught. So why are you people healing him? Welcome to Nigeria. We are Maras. We have lost Amaras in this country. He said they are worse than Nigerian politicians, and you are covering that up. So what is bad in calling out or insulting a failed government? The media itself is not helping the situation of this country. You guys are just out of your pocket for, for money and not the truth. Exactly. Nowhere. Nowhere way. Um, you cannot trust anyone. That's just that you can't trust anyone in this country. That does not mean that good people does not exist to the Yahoo boys in Nigeria are the governors, senators, ministers, bankers, and ministry workers and justice sector. Arrest and investigate all those people, and you will be shocked. I concur, sir. Does Nigeria still have a good image anywhere in the world? You must be dreaming, the Jade and Joe. Sincerely, these people have ruined the image of Nigeria. The one that broke the camel's back is Abakiyari's case. And Nigerians think, I mean, our federal government thinks that, um, you know, they can do play play with that one. They don't know all eyes on them, actually, on that particular case. They don't know eyes on them. 
this is what I call coconut head. No be small coconut head though. Like me, I'm still saying I don't I don't believe. Why? Because I'm like, except maybe he's really enjoying himself there. The fourth is our leaders failed. Is our failed leaders that are hitting up the goodness of the land, left nothing for the next generation. Embezzlement is a normal thing in Nigeria. Siphoning in our resources. Use it to develop another country. God will judge them and their generations. Hmm. Sincerely, there's a truth. What I'm going to say, yes, these people, they play the part. If Nigeria better, tell me. If Nigeria better, you'd come outside from school. Even if you no see business. You see, I mean, even if you no see work. You see business too. As in business and your business is actually thriving. Do you think that many people are going into crime? Or you come out of a country and at least you see work. And they're not paying you 30,000 naira wage where things where things are very high. They're giving you something reasonable. I mean, the economy is fine. Do you think people will be... In... No. I don't think so. I think crime will actually reduce. Raymond. Do you do like that now? We wait the free world. Go on, never cash out 400 t. Four hundred thousand dollars. I beg now. Which plot do they use? Can you imagine? Somebody is saying, "God, I want. I like to be like Hush Puppy." Can you imagine? <laughs> well, except maybe I'm the only one not believing this news. But me, huh, I'm saying, how does someone who is actually facing judgment is facing how many years? Is it twenty years imprisonment? He's still there committing more crimes so that he's going to be completed. What does he want? What does he stand to gain? That's exactly what I'm why that is exactly what I'm saying. And yes, if our government was fair, if our government was good, if they cared for the people, if they did things for the people, and they don't go about siphoning funds, looting public resources, and all of that, Nigeria will be a better place. I repeat, Nigeria will be a better place. If these people are not selfish, self-centered, they don't see themselves in everything, they don't see themselves as the end, I don't think we're going to be having this discussion. The truth is that Nigerians, some of them are tired. There are people who they never dream of doing something that is evil or bad. They came out of school, they saw themselves through.